everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I'm here to talk about the December Sew My Style pattern which is the Megan Nielsen axle skirt. So I will pop a picture of the axle skirt up here. There are three different versions. Um, it is a knit skirt. Um, you've got a short skirt that has this adorable little tie that goes around the waist. There is a skirt that's fitted through the hips and then has like an asymmetrical hem. Um, and then the third one is a midi length pencil, pencil skirt with a slit that can be worn in the front or the back. So number one, this pattern is super versatile and I actually want to make all three versions. I am not as crazy about the asymmetrical like handkerchief hem on view. I think it's you two. Um, and I'm going to, I'll pop, um, line drawings, technical drawings <laughs> here as well so you can kind of see what I'm talking about but she had mentioned something about how um, a, a very easy hack would be to turn it into a trumpet skirt where it's like fitted at the top and then flares by just evening out that hem and cutting that little squared off part off and I love that idea um, I again I made you see I used a uh, Ponty from Joann's that is phenomenal it is a rayon nylon um, spandex blend and it is fantastic it is super heavy duty just like the stuff you would get at you know ready to wear like high-end ready to wear um, real beefy I love it I bought three yards of it when I bought it this skirt barely uses a yard so I've got plenty to do a lot of stuff with um, of course I made it in a camel as you can see <laughs> And I wore it the other day with my ebony tee um, that you can see in this video, and I love this combination. I love the skirt with um, tights. I think I'm really gonna love it. I put it on with my ankle boots um, and bare legs, and I think my, uh, I did so much filming yesterday. I think in my, <laughs> the Sew My Style Roundup when I put it back on, and I really loved that look. I think it will be adorable with sneakers and a t-shirt. I don't currently have sneakers. I had to get rid of my Converse. They died like a very quick and abrupt death. Um, but that might be on my Christmas list of a pair of Stan Smiths maybe because there's a few different things I would like to wear um, those kind of tennis shoes with. But anyway, I love this skirt. And I really think I'm going to make the other two versions, especially as we go into spring because it's so comfortable. Um, and I also, on this one, uh, if you're watching my Vlogmas, you'll see that I added a uh, slimming lining slash sit, slip, like an all-in-one kind of shapewear type thing to this one. Um, I put, I will put a link to the video where I talked about that. It's one of my Vlogmas ones. But I basically just put a very short, like a really short, like little, it's the pattern, but I stopped it before the slit. And I cut it out of um, power mesh that doesn't have quite the stretch that the Ponty does. So when the skirt is on, the Ponty skims over my body as opposed to catching on any kind of lumps and bumps that my underwear creates because I hate wearing shapewear. I hate wearing shapewear. I hate wearing thongs. I just want to wear my normal underwear. <laughs> um, and this totally prevents any visible like um, panty lines or again, lumps and bumps. And someone had asked if it was, there was an issue with it writing up and I wore it all day yesterday and had no issues with it writing up at all and I was even like showing the different ways so I was filming and like turning it around um, you know back and forth you know with the slit in the back and the slit in the front and I had no issues I'm sorry my left eye here is just really causing some issues um, had no issues with that writing up at all so uh, it was a fantastic hack and I will definitely do that Gosh, probably with the other two versions because it's you know why not so anyway that is the skirt it is super versatile super easy to make it took I mean I even with adding that lined um, underlay there it still took like no time at all I highly suggest this pattern if you like skirts I mean it, yeah if you wear a lot of skirts and I wear a lot of separates it is just a no-brainer I was so excited that this was on the list I was excited to try it it yeah it is a, a definite winner. And there's a lot of like mix and match options. You can put the little tie that comes on the mini skirt onto any of the other ones if you wanted to. Um, you could leave it off that mini skirt and just be a very simple like, I say mini skirt. It's not like mini, mini skirt. Like it comes lower than mid thigh. Um, but what an easy, wonderful spring and summer pattern, uh, especially if you don't like wearing shorts. But anyway, I, I do wear shorts, but I know a lot of people don't. So uh, yeah, 
So that's kind of my review of the Megan Nielsen Axle. Fantastic pattern, highly recommend it. I'm getting ready to delve into a whole bunch of Megan Nielsen patterns um, in this the upcoming year. Um, but yeah, it was a, a fantastic make. So if that one's on your possible list, not sure on the fence list, I would definitely say take the plunge. It was, it was a goodie. Um, that is it for today though. I have a, later on this week, I've got a wrap up of the 12 Sew My Style patterns. I made all 12 this year and I just kind of wanted to do a review now that we're getting to the end of the year and um, how I felt about them, how I still feel about them now that, you know, some of them have been almost a year since I've made um, and kind of go through that. So that will be later on this week. And then um, the following week is New Year's. So you're watching this on Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> this is what happens when I do all of my filming way in advance. You're watching this on Christmas. So Merry Christmas, everyone, if you celebrate the holiday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday and spending time with friends and family and um, just enjoying the time off. Um, but yeah, so then the Jara um, video for the Megan Nielsen capsule I'm getting ready to start will be on New Year's Day. So that's what you've got to look forward to next week. <laughs> this gets so confusing. Anyway, if uh, you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps with planning, especially as we're entering a new year. And please hit that subscribe button because I do have a lot of fun. New, um, oh, just some new things I want to try for, on the channel this year. So you don't miss a thing. Hit that subscribe button. And Merry Christmas to all that are celebrating. And I will see you next time.